Hi, this is Brad Oster, and today we're talking about number eight in our 10-step process of how to get you out of that temporary facility and into a permanent home of your own. Or if you're in an existing church that you've outgrown, how to either expand that facility or relocate so that we can get you more space so you can continue to reach your community. Step number eight is looking at construction drawings and your building permit. Now, construction drawings are put together by your architect. It's one of the steps that they take in developing a, a permit-ready set of plans. You typically start with programming and determining needs, then you go to what's called schematic designs, then there's design development, and then construction drawings. The construction drawings are the set that they'll actually build the facility from. It's, it's the nuts and bolts of this goes here and this goes here and, and exactly how to put the whole project together. Now, you want to wait until your construction drawings are complete before you submit them to the city for a building permit. But while your architect and the design team, and, and when I say design team, I'm talking about the architect, the structural engineer, the mechanical engineer, the electrical engineer, the civil engineer, your sound video and lighting guys, there, there's a lot of people involved in that process. And you need to know the roles and responsibilities of everyone. And I say, all right, well, how are you supposed to know that? Well, I put together an ebook for you called Understanding the Roles and the Responsibilities of Your Development Team. As you look to develop a, a new facility, there are over a dozen consultants that you'll be working with. Way beyond what, what most people think is, oh, if I hire an architect, he'll take care of everything. Uh, not so. There, there's a lot of people that are involved in your project, uh, in addition to the architect, that you need to know who they are, what their responsibilities are, what they're accountable for, and what they're going to be delivering, because these folks are expensive, and you're going to be paying a lot of money for that. So understanding the roles and responsibilities of your development team is the ebook, and you can find that on our website at bradoster.com. It's a free resource we put together just for you so that you could be educated and knowledgeable as you step into this exciting field, exciting, dangerous too, uh, field of church development. So you get your construction documents done. You want to have a builder on board before the architect starts the construction documents. That way the builder is overseeing the costing. The phrase for that is called value engineering. The builder knows the cost better than anybody. They will look at that and, and help the architect to stay within a predetermined budget of what we're going to spend on the building. If, if you just turn the architect loose, the odds are, in America today, 60% of all drawings that get permitted are 60% or more, I'm sorry, 60% of the drawings are 30% or more over budget when they go out to bid. It's to say 30%. Well, that means that if you have a $3 million building, the odds are quite high that it's going to be a $4 million building. Or if you have a $10 million building, it's going to be a $13 million building. When you're talking big numbers like you do when you're talking church construction, 30% is a lot of money. So you need to protect yourself. Don't let the architect design these drawings without some knowledgeable professional overseeing that and incorporating value engineering to keep everything on budget. Okay, if you fail to do that, you risk a very high chance of taking a finished set of drawings and having to throw them in the trash because you can't afford them. So make sure you do that and download that ebook and look at the other books that we have for you too. We've got a dozen books on there, uh, ebooks, free resources that you can download. My goal is to help educate and equip you to go out and have the most successful building project that you can. Now, building permits. Please don't ever start construction without a building permit, the final building permit. I had a church in Seattle do that. The pastor wanted to get construction uh, underway as quickly as possible. He started construction without the final building permit. It was disastrous. Okay, They went out. He started the project with the contractor. Contractor was spending money like you wouldn't believe, grading, foundation work, steel, retaining walls going up, uh, spent an awful lot of money. Then, when they got the final permit, there were adjustments made during the permit processing. Okay, the structural engineer had to modify some things, some footings changed, some steel sizes changed. That's all part of the permit process. 
What happened here is when they got the final permit, those drawings didn't look like the unpermitted set that the builder started with. That is an open invitation for a change order. In this case, the builder hit him for a couple million bucks. That is bad, bad news. In addition to that, they had to tear out hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of steel and concrete work that they'd done on the non-permitted set in order to comply with the permitted set. So please, take my word for it. Don't ever, ever, ever start construction on your project. Don't let anybody talk you into it. If they're trying to talk you into it and you feel like, uh, you feel like they're winning, call me. Okay, Brad Oster, 719-439-3019. We're here not only to encourage, equip, and empower you to go out and develop the facility of your dreams, the, the facility you need to reach the lost and develop Christ-like disciples, to turn your, your vision into, into reality, but we're here to protect you too. We can help you with a lot of things. So feel free to call me, 719-439-3019. Send me an email at bradoster at mac.com or visit the website at www.bradoster.com. Remember what Solomon said, look for wisdom, obtain knowledge, it will serve you well. You're a, that wisdom and knowledge is only a phone call away. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.